hello and what is going on you guys hyperion blue gt here today is the start of test season 2 for the 2022 exhibition series for the gran turismo world series nations cup and manufacturers cup on gt7 starting out in round one at the manufacturers cup will be going in to take place at the Nurburgring 24 hour track layout for only three laps will be on board with the group three class will be ready to go so I have to make sure to get ready to go on to be on the point race entry before 8 o'clock is about to go on. So there's no need to have practice for myself at this moment because the race information, regulations, and settings is about to go on to do some opportunity to be taking on to have a full course layout in Germany. So better make sure to get a lot of good selection on different manufacturer car brands will be able to participate. Balance of performance regulations will be setting up automatically to be on the power and weight. So let's get in there, do some good practice to be on a clean race. And for this time, the time condition is about to go on to be on the day or night time depends to move forward. It's going to be a very good realistic to have a nice wonderful background for having a good successful race. If you're new to my YouTube channel, go and click the subscribe button then leave a like and comment at the session down below. Check out the links on the description if you really want to see more. Feel free to enjoy it anytime you want for the entertainment. Now it's time to get ready to start the race and let's begin. Alright viewers, after spending two laps around to do some practice for a qualified section. So here I am right now, position number two to be on the grid. So let's get ready to get the show on the road in about three seconds. Let's do this. Welcome to the test season 2 of the 2022 exhibition series of the Gran Turismo World Series. Manufacturers Cup is about to go on for the Group 3 class to take on in Nürburgring. Starting out in first place we have Carrez. Here's myself in second place for the UDRS in Sportec Livery. Venom SRT4 in third place. Followed by fourth place driver Vankovic is now in the BMW. Mamba Racer in fifth place for the Ford GT. Hazmat in 6th place for the Subaru WRX, Midnight in 7th place for the Dodge Viper SRT GT3R, Gerard B is here in 8th place, Chino is here in 9th place with the, with the BMW M6, Funk Dr. Flex in 10th place with the Nissan GTR, Gimme Your Milk in 11th place, next up in 12th place is Dr. Kage is now ready to go in, Wally Will 24 in the McLaren 650S in 13th place, S Mark Prime in 14th place, Joel in 15th place is now choosing the Dodge Viper, Jocelyn in the Genesis XGR3 in 16th place. Three laps, one big long track equals a full time condition between different kinds of weathers will be going partly cloudy. So let's make sure the rolling start is going to be perfectly to be ready to go on to be on the first turn to be dived in at the hairpin. So gonna have to get ready. The auto drive will be turned off in about three seconds until we're about to go green. Here we go you guys. The race is about to go on underway in test season one in season two of the first round in the manufacturers cup. So this is gonna be the best race out there ever yet. We're going in underway and be prepared for having turn one to be entered onto turn two. So let's go in there and have a good race. Turn one successful, now gonna have to keep pushing in onto turn two. So make sure the traction control is gonna be well used to be on the number one position whenever we have to stay balanced. Just gonna have to enter onto the Grand Prix section to be entered onto the first sector. Craze in the Toyota Supra is doing well out there to be as the most finest OG GT500 since the 1990s of the Japan Grand Touring Car Championship. First time ever to see the Group 3 race car to be welcomed into the class. Along with UTRS, Insportec is entered onto the full hairpin selection to be passed through. First part of the checkpoint to be cleared and here comes the next one before we're about to take on in the notion of ill base section. Gonna have to wrap it up onto the high gear. 
breaking through for only one second behind the gap for UTRS and Sportec while Blanklix is now going in to be on the offense. Keep things up a bit, follow the line on the apexes, we'll get there soon until we're about to exit from the Grand Prix circuit. There you go, looks like the best one ever yet whenever we had to take some good suitable paces before we're about to go on to take some tough corners. Just gonna have to take the first lap to be moving on. And here comes the notion that Il Bay will be entered after the Grand Prix track layout will be suitable to be on the next turn. So let's do this. Let's try to be very careful or try not to get any contact to be forcefully off the track. We'll make it result of the penalty. Just gonna have to try to see how the corners is gonna be doing much better this time since last year from the 2021 series. Okay, there we go. Just gonna have to step right in and follow the apex. Keep a good breaking point onto the red zone whenever we have to pass through. Corner successful and stay on to be at the next turn before we're about to be going in for having a curved straightaway by the tough terrain. Looks like Blankwix is now coming in to take the right side for the overtake and BMW passes Team Chevy and the UTRS in Sportec drops down from 2nd to 3rd. Incredible to see how a Spirit model is going to be doing traditional of the BMW Motorsport is all about taking a good excellent endurance race since the 24 hours of the Nürburgring. So that makes Insportec is going exercise caution as always folks. So let's take the battle for second place. We'll be underway to be on the first lap in the middle of the track. So right now the current sector is clear. Moving on to take the next area by the checkpoint sector to be moved forward to be currently into the first lap. But it's about to go a little bit foggy soon folks. The time condition is about to go forward from daytime until we're about to be going in for the evening. Just gonna have to step right onto the apex and here's Mamba Racer in the 4 GT 2018 coming in to be on the main focus to catch up to overtake Team Chevy in third place. Brake zone enter in, passing through and here comes the next turn by pulling the brake. There you go, just gonna have to stay focused with using the traction control to be suitable to be on the one spot. Gonna have to kick right in. 1.3 seconds away from Blankwix and the BMW M6 is still keeps a good handling opportunity to be on the ropes. But UTRS Insportec and the Chevy Corvette C7 Group 3 is still not giving up yet. The top three position is gonna be a number one main goal to stay focused and catch up with the number two spot to be entered to be on the current sector. So here comes the part of the area track of the Nürburgring folks just gonna have to be leaving from the Amberg into this part of the area track to be on the layout course before we're about to be going in on to the straightaway to be on the number two stop spot ah, sorry about that where was I oh yeah moving on into the number two spot to be at the full straightaway just gonna have to step right in and pull the throttle to be reaching up 0.9 seconds up ahead to catch up onto Blankwicks in the BMW M6. Almost there, just gonna have to get closer. This one is a very good, excellent opportunity to see Group 3 cars can also to take many paces. Oh, did I ever mention about the fuel usage whenever we have to be using for only one stopping point for only available choice? Just gonna have to go over onto the pits if you really might need to have a refuel requirement will be needed to be part of the competition for the test season. So now let's go right in to dive on to be on the next turn before we're about to going right in onto the carousel. Blankwix is now going in to take the carousel by having a stopping point and take the inside before UTRS Insportec has the opportunity to get closer but 0.6 seconds is gonna go decrease by 0.4 seconds up ahead. That's more like it. Just keep pushing you DRS. You'll get there in no time before you can probably have to move right back onto the number two spot in no time. 
how things smoothly out there for the first round in test season 2 folks everything is doing great but for the last race entry that I have participated before the start of the video is going to be doing some reminder notice just going to have to be there on time to be on the afternoon schedule but avoid the evening is going to be the deadline so just going to have to take the last entry if you can probably have to save as a reminder before you can enter Alright, just gonna have to keep pushing forward to take the next turn. Part of the track layout section of the Nürburgring, Notion and Ilpe will be coming in to be on the third. Hold on, looks like this is definitely might be a contact. It's Mamba Racer in a Ford GT 2018 race car is now having a single attack at UTRS in support tech by the unexpected. Clearly, let's go in to be on the instant replay for investigation. Almost forgot on Mamba Racer to be ended up on the fifth place while the third place driver is still takes a many patient effort to have the main focus to be on the next corner to be at the turn. Just note this up you guys, just gonna have to drive respectfully on any opponents during the competition in sport mode for the FIA Gran Turismo World Series to be in the Nations Cup or Manufacturers Cup as well. After successfully to be getting through onto the flower bed, and now we're coming in to be on the long straightaway before at the end of lap number one. Clearly so well to see UTRS in Sportech is doing a smooth sailing for having a driving physics in Gran Turismo 7. But I mean, back in 2021 series of the manufacturer series in GT Sports, but man, it is so hard and challenging that we'll be ending up by having a drama that will be successfully to be end up with a total unexpected notice from the opponent during the part of the track to be in the notion of ill base section. But let's make sure to see how communication in group 3 class is all about driving in a hard work effort whenever we have to take some good racing responsibility for doing another chance for having one race entry to another to be on the same round. So here it comes, that will might have the pit stop, will be called in for UTRS in Sportech, will have to do a stop and go strategy, will be required to be entered. So I'm about to be dropped down in number 5 spot, while Hazmat and Dr. Flex is now moving on in 3rd and 2nd place to catch up on the blank quicks in the BMW M6. But not to mention, Venom SRT4 is now entered as well, along with some several opponents. Refuel requirement in progress to be at full capacity. So now it's time to get ready to go exit out into the pits to follow the line without cutting through to have a good penalty to be avoided. Filler up, achievement also acquired. Okay, looks like going right back down onto 8th place. There's Midnight and Chino in 6th and 7th place to be moving on into lap number 2. Doing great. Looks like partly cloudy is going to be faded away, and we have some good sunlight to be giving a good light of the view. Well, of course, just gonna have to make sure to drive respectfully when you're going out into the pits to drive directionally without cutting through will get result of the penalty during the part of the competition. So let's make sure we have to learn to have some new ways to be part of the FIA Championship to be on Gran Turismo 7. But as always from daily races from GT Sport and GT7 could be always to be part of it. So let's just gonna have to see how the race action can go on to be on the test season for the second season. All right, looks like we have a fastest lap driver is now well achieved for only without having a single pit stop. 8 minutes and 36.291 seconds made by Craze in the Toyota Whip 1 Supra GT500 1997 is doing a good job out there. Doing smooth sailing and doing a best effort when using a fuel map is going to be the number one main tool of requirement during the longer endurance races. So let's try it. Kick things up and use the fuel map before we can go forward. 
Just gonna step up and enter the notion at Ilpe after the Grand Prix layout section. Keep coming in. 2.2 seconds to go by the gap. It's gonna get much further away. All right, just gonna have to stay right in. Break the two second gap. Almost barely had it. Now switch back on to power number two. It'll be doing much quicker. But heads up, on to the last minute. We have Mamba Racer in the Ford GT, GTLM is now coming right back in to be in the scene in about 1.3 seconds before UTRS in Sportec will be on high alert. There he is right now. The Ford GT GTE race car 2018 is now coming right in to be on the middle section to be on the curb straightaway at the first part. Stay right on track. Take the inside and go pass through underneath the Yokohama Bridge to be entered onto the next sector in the Nürburgring. Alright, that's the ticket. Just gonna have to keep pushing forward to be on the entered braking zone by the red line. Outlap is still in red. Insportec could probably have to take a patient time before the final lap is about to go on. So let's see how Midnight is doing okay. Alright. Doing a good racing response movement out there to face the, the opponent. Take the next turn to catch up to a BMW M6. Chino is doing the defense to be dealing with a Dodge Piper to take the offense. Right turn going in. Take an excellent inside of the apex and goes forward to be on the Nissan GTR in fifth place. Very good. Very impressive. Excellent one-on-one -on -one battle between Dodge and BMW. It actually goes on and here comes the incoming attack from Mob Up Racer and barely dodge it while UTRS in Sportec is going onto the yellow caution line to be well suitable to be needed. Exercise caution, always make sure to have the hazard lights in case of the handling situation by losing control. So right now, drop down onto 9th place is going to be having some hard time issues for UTRS and Sportec to be racing at the Nürburgring. Gonna have to keep it up. Almost there to catch up on the Mamba Racer in the 2018 Ford GT race car is now going in to be on the second curb straightaway. Fourteen minutes since the start of the race in round one in test season two for the Manufacturers Cup. But it's about to go headlights on for having an evening condition before the night time is about to go realistic. Are you guys really excited to see how nighttime at Nürburgring is going to be very awesome? We'll be doing the best place to go in. But the answer, we can take it. We can take night race to be at the Nürburgring just like the actual 24 hours endurance race. Let's make sure to see how respectfully to see some several GT players can also to be drive carefully at night. Looks like Mamba Racer is now going in to be in the scene to take on with Dodge, BMW and Nissan to be at the carousel. Going right in onto the inside or outside for only two cars and Dodges is now going for having a hard defense while Ford, Ford GT is now going quicker to catch up with Nissan, BMW and Dodge to be on the main lineup to form up to be having a good length of the distance to have a good suitable chance to have the achievement. There you go. Looks like that might be a very good place to be on the main action. But wait, that's not a Nissan. It's the Mitsubishi is now currently on to position number six. It was the Mitsubishi all along to be on an ongoing chase to catch up with BMW in fifth place. Now that's a very good, excellent five car battle to take the fifth place to be on the battle. Let's see how BMW can actually hold together as long as it can before Mitsubishi is about to go quicker to be on the next turn to go offense. So incredible to see one German 
one Japanese and three American Group 3 class is now going right in to be on a chase to be having some successful running efforts to be on the main turn to be part onto the North Shonet Il Bay section of the Nürburgring. Mamba Racer in the 2018 Ford GT is still keep, keep everything going. Sorry about that. I just might have to make sure that my jaw is doing alright, but never mind that. Let's see how the race is going to be doing well out there before we're about to be going right back in onto the straightaway. How embarrassing do I ever going to see this best part ever yet to enjoy? Alright, let's go right in and here comes the full straightaway before the night time comes, dusk time before twilight is about to go ready to take the slipstream. Alright, here we go, switch it up onto power number one to be on the full straightaway and here comes Craze and the Toyota Supra is entered the pits for only a first time to see a 1997 GT500 race car will be doing a main mandatory requirement to be on the stop and go or tire change. The top three drivers are now entered the pits as well, so let's see how the ongoing battle between Mitsubishi, BMW, Ford, Dodge and Chevy is now going right in to be on the main successful battle to take the final lap. Lap number two is coming to an end for only five cars, and now that we might have three cars will be entered the pits and that makes the number four spot for UDRS in Sportec to be dropped down onto number five while Blankowix in the BMW M6 Spirit model is now moving on to take turn number one. All right let's do this. The final lap is about to go begin. Craze is still active for having a fastest lap in eight minutes and 36.291 seconds is on the main schedule to see how fast the drivers can actually take the chance will have to do suitable to beat the main lap time. All right, let's go. Let's see how the nighttime racing can actually take a lot of daylight because it's still coming around before the dusk will gone away. So it looks like Jocelyn has left the lobby for only 13 cars left standing to be part in the Nürburgring race in round one. Hurry up you guys, this race is going to be the number one best place to be part of the racing highlights in the FIA Gran Turismo World Series to be in test season two. Keep things up and we're about to be going in to be on the dark zone to have the headlights for the group three class will be turned on until we're about to be having some safety measures during the part of the first round. You're gonna have to step right in and do a will achieve chicane to go upper hand forward, leaving from Grand Prix and going right back onto Notion and Ilpe for one last time. Venom SRT4 is doing great out there to be on number four spot while Blankowix in the BMW M6 is still takes on to have an ongoing rush to catch up on to Hazmat in second place from Canada. The third place in the BMW M6 Spirit model is still takes a lack of a racing endurance to go forward after taking the first pit stop is doing the suitable way to see some main mandatory requirement. Almost there. Can see some good daylight. I kind of like a good view out there, folks. Keep it steady. Being number five is the main first step, is going to be entered onto the top five position, folks but we can still have some daylight before we can probably have to go dark. All right, let's go dive in onto this part of the corner. Just gonna have to go forward to pass underneath the two Yokohama sign. Next sector is about to go dark, so let's do this. 
man, I am so very excited to see nighttime, folks. If I can see the moon, it would be so amazing to be part of it in GT7. The stars are very bright, and the sunlight is still there before the sun comes down. Hope there are many spectators are still standing there to have a nice wake of dawn. Just gonna have to go on to the next turn to pass through. There you go. Just gonna have to take that turn and master to be well achieved onto this corner. Follow the line on the apex. <sighs> Not this time. I won't lose control of my grip. <sighs> Almost barely had the chance. Learn to master the Nurburgring 24 hour track at any time, so it will be part of it if I could probably have to do some continuation onto the GT campaign. Wow, there it is, you guys. The stars are so beautiful when racing at the Nurburgring. I hope I could probably have to come around to see the stars at any time when I could go over onto Le Mans. So realistic and amazing. Not to see the first time in Gran Turismo 7 to be part of the competition in the Manufacturer's Cup, but I hope you enjoyed watching the nice view out there to be on nighttime. But it's not over yet because the final lap is still ongoing and that means parades in the Toyota Supra GT500 for the Wood 1 livery variant is still in the lead. Hazmat is still doing okay out there in position number 2 to be on nighttime, along with Bankwix and Venom SRT4 as well to be entered onto the carousel for only one more corner turn to be well perfection. And that means UTRS Insport Tech is currently to be on the main ropes to catch up and stay on the line of defense from Funk Dr. Flex in position number 6. There you go. That's the spirit. Carousel had achieved for Team UTRS in the Chevy Corvette. Just gonna have to step right in. Follow the line and do some breaking point to be entered the red zone. 7.7 seconds up ahead away from Phantom SRT4 in position number 4. But still gets a lot of further length of the gap out there folks. Just gonna have to try to work hard and always to do the same. Okay, step right up. Follow the line and do some breaking point on the corners. Okay, another sector clear. Next up is going to get closer in about three more to go. Jump right in, pull the brake, take the right turn to avoid the sand trap, and keep pressing on you guys. 13 drivers are still standing around at the Nurburgring. We'll have to take one more chance to do the final lap until one of the top three drivers is now coming right in onto the finish line to be at the podium. Craze is now doing a good job out there to do the best effort in the Toyota Supra GT500 1997 is going to be doing the first time ever to dominate at the Nurburgring for the first race in Test Season 2 of the Manufacturer's Cup in Round 1. But here comes the full straightaway. That one might have another sector to be clear for only one more to go. That will be the final stretch to see that Craze is going in to take the podium spot for Team Toyota. We'll have to do the successful win. Hazmat is still keeping up onto the main push to be on the defense in second place while Blankowix in the BMW M6 is still pushing on in about the range of 1.5 seconds to go. But looks like it's about to go reminder check. 
Sacrifices will make account for several drivers to have a fuel map will be needed in case. 7% left remaining. Come on, let's see, here it comes. And there's Craze in the Toyota Supra takes the win in first place to be at the podium. That was so incredible and absolutely job well done. Hazmat in second place, Benham SRT4 in fourth place along with Blankowicz in the BMW M6. Absolutely job well done you guys. Absolutely job well done in the nick of time to be entered for having a successful nighttime race. Now that's competition for the first round at the Nürburgring to be on the starting point from daytime and the end to be at night. How wonderful to see this race is all about endurance for the Group 3 class. So it looks like several drivers are already made it in by the checker flag is doing a job well done. But I am so proud to be on the number in G7 but clearly just like last race from test season 1 in round 3 at Suzuka circuit. But you guys remember that incident. Well clearly that almost gives me a little bit more shocking anxiety so I have to make sure to be well careful to be on the out and out in sector 4 at any time for further notice. But I'm still talking about the shocking incident at Suzuka circuit from last season in round 3. But I'll make sure I have to drive very careful for the next race whenever I have to go for another chance. Alright, that's a good game you guys. That's a very good GG for round 1 at the Nürburgring. Clean race, fifth place, Team Chevy successfully to be entered onto the top 5 position. Alright, looks like that was a lot of good mileage to be on a daily workout. 83.7 miles per hour. Awesome. Very good and excellent to have a single chance for having a roulette ticket will be featured before at the end of the video. So I have to save a replay for having a reminder notice and that is a very good job for today's race and tonight's to be at the Nürburgring for the Group 3 class. Craze in the Toyota Supra GT500 1997 did an absolutely good job for having a total time in 20 minutes is doing suitable to have a 10 second time with a decimal will be depends on. 0.358 seconds is going to be the most finest total red 97 Supra is going faster to see a single GT500 is actually dominating with a group 3 class. Great work you guys so let's go and congratulations to the top 3 drivers to do some old fashioned typing. There you go, and send. But yes, I'll have to make sure I'll be there to participate for another race will be set and scheduled to be on the afternoon, but the late, it's going to be giving it a little bit more panicking so I could probably have to be here on time before 8 o'clock. So I have to keep myself to do some reminder folks. You guys did your best to be on the first race entry and I have made it on time to be on the final race entry at the end of round 1. Replay will be part onto the highlights. It was so close that I have made it on time in round 1 for test season 2 of the 2022 exhibition series and the Gran Turismo Wheel series. Manufacturers Cup is just the beginning. So I had to remind myself just gonna have to be here on time to be on late afternoon but the evening is gonna be a very tough risk we'll have to do the final entry by having a last resort. So round one is check and complete and we're about to be moved forward onto round two in the next race we'll be at Kyoto Driving Park Yamagita to be on board with the group four class. Let's have a good check in the event schedule so we could probably have to be move on after round 1 at the end of March. April 2nd is going to be on round 2 before April 4th is going to be round 3 at Autodromo de Interlagos to get back on board with the Group 3 class. Round 4 in April 6th will be at High Speed Ring for the second time to be in the Group 4 class. Round 5, April 10th. 
Tokyo Expressway East Clockwise. Round 6 in April 12 is going to be at Fuji International Speedway for a Group 4 class. Round 7 after Fuji International Speedway, we're moving on to be at Autodromo National Monza for having a Group 3 race. After Group 3 at Monza, Round 8 on April 16 will be at the West End Track section of Autodrome Lago Magigor. After Round 8, the final race at the end of Test Season 2 will be at Daytona Road Course for the Group 3 class. Alright, looks like different racetrack comes in to have some new set of challenges and different layouts will be featured for the second season as a test. So right now, it's time to get ready to go back to the garage and have another short time of activity to do a roulette ticket. A three-star ticket is going to be having a good chance to be on the GIP, so I'll make sure that a reward card will be available by the chance. Three-star roulette ticket, here I go. Let's see which prize should I get. Come on baby, give me a Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. Mmm. So close. So far close to get a pickup truck and I ended up to get a 10,000 Gran Turismo credits. I'll make sure I'll add this up to the balance. So it'll be climbing right back up onto 1 million again. Alright. Looks like this is time to get ready to go wrap this up you guys. I'll make sure I'm just gonna have to exit out the garage before at the end. Thank you for watching on my video in Gran Turismo 7 folks. I hope you enjoyed. Just go subscribe to my YouTube channel for a like, comment, and click the bell for notifications on upcoming content videos if you'd like to see. And don't forget to follow me on any social media platforms like DeepNet Art, Instagram, GT Planet, Twitter, and more to see for my own image artwork like UDRS liveries, Total Drama Fan Art with card liveries, and more whenever you're welcome at any time. I'll be seeing you guys next time on Gran Turismo 7, and I look forward to see you again in the next video. Keep on racing, stay clean.